Hello, my name is Kufarok, and today's topic is failure and redemption. If you Google or go to your public library, there's probably a collection of books and videos on the fringe benefits of failure, on the value of failing, which is an interesting philosophy. But if you dig a little bit deeper, and if you go behind the romanticism, there's a much larger problem to consider. To say that hitting rock bottom is a cornerstone to rebuild your life back up on is a glorious piece of advice for those that can use it. I'm really into speeches like J.K. Rowling's Fringe Benefits of Failure to the Harvard Graduation Class of 2008 and found them very motivational and moving on from trouble. You see, these kinds of speeches teach you that it's okay to screw up, and that's okay to not have it all together all the time. And that's a great message to learn! You shouldn't always know what you're going to do with your life, and you don't always have all the answers. J.K. Rowling didn't, and she lived in extreme poverty for a very long time. And now she's super rich and has sold over 450 million books, inspired millions of children to read and write, and revolutionized the publishing world. Her novels have been adapted into the highest grossing movie series of all time. Harry Potter was the first and only book series in the world to get its own amusement park. She even inspired an entire music genre, by the way. Oliver Boyd and the Rememberalls rule. And she did it without sparkling vampires. Point being, the philosophy of failure stuff is extremely motivational, and I will include some links below in the description for those who are interested. Having said that, there is a huge flaw in this school of thought. The philosophy that failure can be redemptive works on those that fail and can reflect back on their struggles positively. These people have made it out and passed the obstacles in their way, but they're just a small and very lucky subset of those that face failure. A far larger group does not have the means, material, or support to make itself out of the hole that they've dug themselves in. In that situation, it is a community as a whole that should be providing the means, and yet we foster a society that lays blame without taking external factors into consideration. The philosophy that failure leads to redemption is a form of quietism. It is a compliance that leaves people who are, are at rock bottom with no help because it is their responsibility. Society then preaches with examples of those that have been lucky enough to overcome failure so that way the rest of the world can just sit back and pretend that nothing is going on. In fact, we have countless policies dedicated to keeping people down, and then we neglect to take action against those policies. A situation which recently came to my attention involved the need for a home address to open a bank account. You need a bank account to obtain a home address, and you need both things to get a job, but in order to get a job, you need a bank account and shelter. It would be comical if it weren't so awful. I wanted to make a video to encourage those people going through a tough time to move on. But failure is so much bigger than that. We have countless groups of people in our society written off as self-destructive failures who can't save themselves, while we actively oppress them in our own unwillingness to face mild discomfort. And worse, we have a society that uses the effect of its policy to justify its policies. As in, there's this circular thinking. Instead of addressing the huge range of social issues that bring people to rock bottom, we blame those who have been brought to the low by their own state. We tell them they should have fixed it themselves, pulled themselves up by their bootstraps, blah, blah, blah. Actually, no. Bootstraps is a metaphor that is quite helpful because it literally involves people breaking the laws of physics. And unless you are MacGyver, that shit ain't possible! We collectively are blaming individuals for failing to fix a problem that is so much bigger than themselves and is a predicament that we are all contributing to creating! And let's take a moment while we're here to examine how we, media consumers, treat different stories. We worship Robert Downey Jr. And not just because he looks amazing, which he totally does, but because people cite him as an inspiration for overcoming obstacles, like his drug problems. Incidentally, those problems may well have family origins, so we're back to the theme of, it's not the individual's fault. He was in prison and arrested multiple times, and all kinds of shit went down, and yet now he's Iron Man. But he himself has said that he reached out for help. He's also said things like, it's not hard once you decide to get help. The point I'm trying to emphasize is, he was not alone. Doubling back to J.K. Rowling, she has repeatedly said that she would not have made it, let alone written the books and shaped our childhoods, without financial help from her government. Do you see a theme emerging here? You cannot just raise people up as inspirations, amazing as they are, and then expect everybody else to achieve the same results without providing them with the help that these people need.
We as a community try and hold people trapped in cages as responsible for their own situations. We want them to magically fight the odds that we ourselves have stacked against them. Yes, lows are important to everyone's life, but can we really expect children with no access to education to find legal ways to obtain food and shelter as they grow up? And bigger than that, how can countries without resources fight against unfair trade laws? How can governments hastily created from our own corruption fight for freedom of people they have little connection to? When will we hold those with the resources responsible for playing a part in oppressing others, whether actively or by paying into a flawed system? Maybe you will wake up one day and say to yourself, if I was trapped at the bottom of a well, would it be my job to climb my way out of it? Or could the people at the top maybe reach down a hand? To anybody who is watching this and currently going through a really shitty time, I am so sorry and I really hope that you get the support that you need. Just please do not let the people around you make you feel that you are solely responsible for recovery. I'm here for you and I will help you out in any way I can. Because I love you. Yes, you. You're awesome. Coof rock out. As previously mentioned, I'm Kufrock from Les Amis d'Abbesse, which is a really complicated French name. Thank you, Eng. I really didn't need that. I can barely pronounce English words. But if you like this video, please click subscribe and tell us what you think and just help a rebel out. Now time for the sexy end screen dance. I'm not doing a sexy end screen dance. <laughs>